turning to Nepal. Authorities there have extended a lockdown in and around the capital Kathmandu until the end of May. The number of COVID-19 cases is skyrocketing in Nepal, prompting concerns that it is headed for a crisis like that in next door India. India's deadly second wave has spread to neighboring Nepal. In Kathmandu, healthcare workers and authorities are struggling to contain a massive surge of COVID-19 cases. In the last three weeks, Nepal's daily trajectory has shot up with two out of every five people tested now returning positive for the virus. With hospitals filling to capacity with COVID-19 patients, the country's health system has been overwhelmed by the spike. Patients are scrambling to find hospital beds and oxygen for loved ones. Uh, Nepali's worst fears are coming true as a nationwide surge of infections is pushing the health system to the brink of collapse. Many of Nepal's hospitals are full and overstretched with towns and communities near the border with India, unable to attain, uh, unable to handle the increasing number of people who need treatment. The threat from COVID-19 has even reached the world's highest peak. As China announced on Sunday, it would set up a line of separation on the summit of Mount Everest to keep Chinese climbers from catching the virus from those ascending from the Nepal side. Along the 1,800-kilometer open border Nepal shares with India, Nepalese fleeing the virus are hurrying to return home. Authorities fear even more COVID-19 cases are on the way. And for more on this, we are joined by Asmat Ullah, head of the Red Cross delegation in Nepal, joining us from Kathmandu. Welcome back to the program, sir. Um, describe to us the situation that you are currently witnessing. Yes, as your report has just highlighted, the situation is skyrocketing. Uh, just last week, late last week, we were talking about 7,000 infections a day with over 50 deaths every day. And right now we're talking about over 9,000 infections a day. And just yesterday they recorded 200 deaths. So this is unprecedented in Nepal's history. Uh, from the Everest base camp uh, that you mentioned in your report to Kathmandu, the Kathmandu Valley, and also the border districts along the Indian border. And, and we understand that in and around the capital, Kathmandu, a lockdown has in fact been extended, but that the infection rates are still climbing. So I'd just like to ask you, uh, you know, it seems that the measures are not working. Is that also your observation and what more needs to be done? Yeah, I was just traveling to my office in Kathmandu and uh, under lockdown, and there was uh, there was very good police control. There was the the roads were empty. I saw the same thing last week. Uh, but yeah, I think that uh, you know within uh, it is uh, the, with the, Nepal has an open border with India, but it is now restricted. But things are still still spiraling out of control. And as your report also mentioned, uh, hospital beds are hard to get. There's a huge shortage of oxygen, oxygen cylinders, oxygen concentrators, oxygen generators, etc. Uh, and we are also uh, trying to get this this sort of, sort of supply to the local authorities with the uh, Nepal Red Cross and its volunteers. Now, oxygen, it's, it's so immediately necessary. Um, there's also the need for, for vaccines, of course. Just walk us through what exactly is happening right now on the vaccination front. Yeah, uh, so far, the, uh, the percentage vaccinated is about 1%, which is obviously very low. And uh, right now, they are, we, they are trying to get more vaccines and vaccines is very much needed. And of course, linked to vaccine is vaccination. And the uh, Nepal Red Cross volunteers also have a role in assisting the authorities on community engagement and accompanying them through the vaccination process. So vaccines is also a dire need. 
Asmat Ullah, head of the Red Cross delegation in Nepal. Um, a lot of work for, for you and your colleagues to do on the ground there. And we thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us and give us a little bit of insight into what's going on. Thank you very much.